Dicipramine is a tricyclic antidepressant used in the treatment of depression. In this video, let's find found. What is dicipramine? What is dicipramine used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking dicipramine? How does dicipramine work? How to use dicipramine? What is dicipramine? Dicipramine, sold under the brand name Norpermin among others, is a tricyclic antidepressant used in the treatment of depression. The drug is not considered a first-line treatment for depression since the introduction of selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, SSRI, antidepressants, which have fewer side effects and are safer in overdose. What is dicipramine used for? For relief of symptoms in various depressive syndromes, especially endogenous depression. It has also been used to manage chronic peripheral neuropathic pain, as a second-line agent for the management of anxiety disorders, e.g. panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and as a second- or third-line agent in the ADHD management. Contraindication Contraindications include Hypersensitivity Severe cardiovascular disorder Narrow-angle glaucoma any drugs or conditions that prolong QD interval. Acute recovery post heart attack, myocardial infarction, MI. Co-administration with serotonergic drugs. Side effects. Common adverse effects include. Nausea. Drowsiness. Weakness or tiredness. Nightmares. Dry mouth. Skin more sensitive to sunlight than usual. Changes in appetite or weight. Constipation. Pharmacodynamic. Dicipramine, a secondary amine tricyclic antidepressant, is structurally related to both the skeletal muscle relaxant cyclobenzaprine and the thiazanthine antipsychotics such as thiophyxine. It is the active metabolite of imipramine, a tertiary amine TCA. The acute effects of dysine include inhibition of noradrenaline reuptake at noradrenergic nerve endings and inhibition of serotonin, 5-hydroxytryptamine, 5-HT, reuptake at the serotonergic nerve endings in the central nervous system. Dicipramine exhibits greater noradrenergic reuptake inhibition compared to the tertiary amine TCA imipramine. In addition to inhibiting neurotransmitter reuptake, Dicipramine downregulates beta-adrenergic receptors in the cerebral cortex and sensitizes serotonergic receptors with chronic use. The overall effect is increased serotonergic transmission. Antidepressant effects are typically observed two to four weeks following the off therapy, though some patients may require up to eight weeks of therapy prior to symptom improvement. Patients experiencing more severe depressive episodes may respond quicker than those with mild depressive symptoms. Mechanism of Action Dicipramine is a tricyclic antidepressant, TCA, that selectively blocks reuptake of norepinephrine, noradrenaline, from the neuronal synapse. It also inhibits serotonin reuptake, but to a lesser extent compared to tertiary amine TCAs such as imipramine. Addition of neurotransmitter reuptake increases stimulation of the postsynaptic neuron. Chronic use of dicipramine also leads to downregulation of beta-adrenergic receptors in the cerebral cortex and sensitization of serotonergic receptors. An overall increase in serotonergic transmission likely confers dicipramine and its antidote effects. Dicipramine also possesses minor anticholinergic activity through its affinity for muscarinic receptors. TCAs are believed to act by restoring normal levels of neurotransmitters via synaptic reuptake inhibition and by increasing serotonergic neurotransmission via serotonergic receptor sensitization in the central nervous system. Half-life 7-60 plus hours, 70% eliminated renally. Dose Depression 100 to 200 mg POQHS or divided Q12HR up to 300 mg per day in severely ill. Off-label, post-herpetic neuralgia, vulvodynia, eating disorder. Safety advice. It is possible that the use of dicipramine during pregnancy can cause temporary symptoms in newborns soon after birth. These symptoms are sometimes referred to as withdrawal. However, this has not been well studied. That's all the information about dicipramine we collected. Thanks for listening.
Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.